You can use lookup formulas to automatically find a price, address, or any associated value based on the value that you're looking up. For example, say that you have a simple price list. You're looking for the item A3 and you want to return its corresponding price. You can use either a VLOOKUP formula or a combination of index and match formulas. Let's start with a VLOOKUP. For the lookup value, you select or type the value that you want Excel to look up. Table array is a range with the lookup value in the left column, as well as the return value somewhere else in the range. In this example, you will type 3 for the column index number, because price is in the third column of your range. The last argument of the VLOOKUP formula specifies whether you are okay with finding an approximate match on your lookup value. In this case, you want to find the exact item ID, so you'll type false. Your formula looks up item A3 in the price list table, and it returns its corresponding price. You can accomplish the same thing with index and match functions used together. These give you more flexibility, and they overcome some of the limitations of VLOOKUP. The index formula simply looks in an array and returns the value in the specified row. You want Excel to look up the appropriate row number for you, so instead of specifying row 3 yourself, you can use the MATCH formula. Give it your lookup value and range. To specify that you want an exact match, you'll use a zero for the match type. Now the MATCH function returns the position number 3 because A3 matches the third row in the item ID range. Then the INDEX function returns the third value in the price list range. Let's see how all of this works in a real example. The purchase order template includes a list of vendors and their contact information. On the purchase order sheet, there's a drop-down list that refers to each company name. You can add a VLOOKUP to have Excel find the address of the selected company. Your lookup value will be the company name. For the range, you can simply select columns A through F. Remember that to use a VLOOKUP, the company name needs to be in the first column of your range. To get the second column number, the first row of the address, you can type 2. The easiest thing would be to copy and paste your formula without making any updates. To do that, make sure that you're using only absolute references with dollar signs. Instead of hard coding the column index number, you can derive it by subtracting your current row from the row two cells above. That would look up the second column first, and then the third column, and so on. With these formulas in place, you can select a different company in the dropdown, and all the cells will update with the corresponding address. In the item table, you can use index and match to find the unit price of each item. For product A, you would return index column C, row 3. Instead of hard coding row 3, you'd use a match function to look up the product in column A with an exact match. Now, selecting a different description will look up the correct unit price for that item. You can do more complex lookups, like finding approximate matches using wildcards and picking which table to do your lookup from. Take a look at the article on vertex42.com to learn these other methods.